Greetings and welcome to an ACB Radio's tutorial video on how to add cycle animation to the GERC. My name is Samueli Windmere Solo, your tutor for this tutorial video. In this video, we'll be implementing a TV screen with motion-like animation. The programs that will be used are the following. DDS Converter 2, Free Video to JPG Converter, Snap to Image, GIMP, Nifscope, Sony Vegas and the GIMP. Also, we'll need to download a mod titled TV Screen Cycle Animation FNV Gameplay Trailer by ACB Radio. We'll only need one single file from it. How exciting, so let's begin! Anyway, to begin our project, we'll need to find the perfect video. My advice would be to stick with silent films. We'll be converting the specific video into a single .dds texture file. To do this, we must first convert the size of our original video to fit the recommended frame size. The frame size must be 186 wide and 147 high. Once that's exported in the .mp4 format, open up the free video to JPG converter. In this program, we'll need to change certain values. For example, the total frames that need extracting are 616. Hit the convert button and you'll get 616 images. Let's compile them into one image. Open up Snap to Image and carefully input these input settings. Add your source folder obtaining every frame extracted from your video and hit create and save. Open up the image editor and input the base canvas size is 1496 by 1496. That's 4K resolution. Add the image that was rendered by Snap to Image and reposition and resize it to fit the 4K canvas. Export it as a .png file and convert it into a .dds file like so. Go into the TV screen cycle animation file and open up the file called Animated TV with New Vegas Trailer.nif. Click on the TV screen and you'll notice on the far top left that there's three branches all titled TV02 Screen 01. These three branches require you to add the animation texture twice in all three branches. It's quite simple, just follow this example here. After adding our texture, we can fire up the GEC and add it in the game. Before we do that, quickly check out this groovy tip. By removing certain branches and leaving just the screen, you can now add it inside of other objects like arcade machines and other terminals. Fire up the GEC and create a new static object and import the NIF file with the animation. Once it's in the render window, it'll not play. But once it's in your game, you'll be certainly amazed. Thank you so much for watching ACB Radio's tutorial video on how to add cycle animation to the GEC. For any and all business inquirers, please feel free to email me at lordsamuelywindmersolo at gmail.com. And last but not least, please indulge yourselves with these many websites related to ACB Radio. You may find links in the description below. Thanks a million shillings. Bye bye.